All right, Balloon Kid. This was uh, made by Nintendo. If you ever played, uh... oh, what is that game called? For the NES, it's a some balloon battle game. I forget now what it's called. They'll probably come to me as I play this. And this game was actually pretty fun. It was it was based off of a uh, oh balloon wars or something. Man, I can't remember. Um, I'll feel pretty stupid probably checking this out later. But uh, it was that that one was mainly just a one set stage it didn't scroll like this would um, and this is kind of just a 2d plat platformer where you float on these balloons um, and your object is to collect these balloons as if coins in a Mario game or any other kind of collectible in another 2d game and uh, just the mechanics pretty fun uh, the way it worked in a, in a scrolling platform. Um, you hit the B button, you release your balloons, and you jump around like a regular platformer, and tap down to pump up your balloon. So you get one, don't float so well, and if something taps your balloon on the top, you'll sail right to the ground, or to the water in this case. This game was pretty fun though, I uh, I had this one, I don't know, probably the tenth game I got when I was younger. Um, but it was one of the first original Game Boy games. And, you know, it, uh, one of the more quality games, I'd have to say, too, for for Game Boy games, especially uh, uh, launch titles. It might not have been exactly launch, but... It was pretty darn close if it wasn't. There's a little bonus stage. You walk into a, a little Game Boy icon and your object is to make sure you catch all the balloons that are popping out of the, coming out of these uh, pipes. Kind of a, I don't know, a little dumb. Dumb for a bonus stage, I'd say. Maybe I'll do it this way without the balloons. It's not the funnest because... Later on, oh, well, that's a one up there, the heart. Later on in the game, now so I need to pump up balloon. Later on in the game, uh, those bonus stages do not change at all. Oh, well, here's a P, uh, P balloon, which will, I guess, power, kill off anything I touch, and oh, once you miss a balloon, if you miss a balloon after you've made them double like this, they'll they'll go away if you miss one. It's funny how you remember things. Uh, I swear it's been probably nine years. To... And you know what? It's got to be be much longer than that since I played this. And uh, it it gets pretty challenging. I'll oh, see there. Let go of the balloon and get that. It gets real challenging actually near the end of the game. But it it's not not too too much, so the game loses its appeal. But uh, yeah, you know the music's pretty decent for uh, back then. It's definitely catchy. Gets better as you go. There's a boss at every stage at, at the end of every stage, and I believe there's probably five five stages on this game. Um, and I think every level scrolls like this, but I don't know. It seems to work all right. I I, I don't. I don't know what. Maybe there's not a boss. What's going on here? Okay, maybe the the introductory stage only has, or is the only one without a boss. I believe, because so I think every other level has a boss at the end. Actually. I pretty sure I can promise that. Let me see. There's, yeah, the woods. Yeah, there's a boss at the end. and At the end of every other level. And you know what? There is more than five stages now that I remember. Uh, I believe that I thought it was five originally and then it kind of just kept going. Maybe there's up to seven or eight. 
you know, this is all guess. I didn't research anything or play through this before I did this this uh, quick play. I felt it'd be a little more fun uh, to play it with. Uh, it's not first impression. It's just I swear it's over ten years since I played this, but I still remember just about everything I was supposed to do here. Very interesting how that how your memory works out like that. Once I get so many balloons in a row here, they'll start doubling up. Oh, watch out for that guy. One touch is is, is a kill in this game, by the way, too. I mean, you can let your balloons pop, but if they if they touch your your body, there you go. They change change that far in, I guess. If you let any of those touch your body, you're dead. You don't blink. You don't get one hit. You you die. So. That's a little obnoxious, I'd, I'd say. But, uh, let's see if I can, can't get to one of these bosses here without dying. Oh, come on, can I get up there? There we go, one up, nice. Couple of balloons, come on. There we go, get away from that guy. Okay. I'm gonna let that thing float up. A little further so it lasts any longer. Oh no, I'm gonna lose it. Look at this. Oh my. That's one of the most frustrating things that can happen, I say. Is when that thing just barely loses out of reach. Well, alright. I guess the bee won't kill you with just hitting your body, but I know the fire will. For sure. But again, uh. Being one of the earlier games for this system, I'd have to say they made it pretty, pretty good, pretty well. Because oh no, Ooh. I think I'm just gonna leap over this guy. All right, pop up my balloons. It's still like for uh, the early Game Boy games, man. This this one held up all right. Um, Kirby's Dream Land uh, was was pretty good and. I'll get to, to others as I go here, but I just wanted to put this one up because, again, another game I don't I don't think a whole lot of people ever got to really play. And uh, if you liked, uh, what the heck is that game called? Balloon, uh, balloon something, man. I'll uh, I'll look at it later. Sorry for even mentioning it again. Oh boy, I don't really want to do that challenge stage. But, uh, since I'm here, I guess I'll get all the balloons. Each level changes. Uh, I believe the, the level after this is probably a snow level, I'm guessing. I'm not sure, but I know it's, it's either third or fourth level. And then, uh, oh no, there is a water level. Oh, so I guess if you miss one, they kick you out. That's fine by me. I'm not going to play the game long enough to kill my nine lives I have. Alright, where is this boss? I just want to get to the end here so you can see what a boss battles about. I think it's another... Here he is. Hit him three times probably on the head and it's done. It's like some kind of wolf. There's your brother. That's what you're chasing. That's the purpose of the game. And if I remember right, you cannot bounce on him with the balloons. No, it won't hurt him. You have to let them go. Oh, look at that. Let go, and then you catch him on the way back up. That's cool. And he laughs, I guess, huh, when you hit him. So there's three. Yeah, yeah, three hits, and he's done. Okay, so that guy was easy. Next guy you get, I think, is uh, to actually fly over the water and you end up in a whale's mouth. And uh, at the end of it, some kind of fish or something that jumps out and you drop them that way. And from then on, I don't remember actually all the bosses. But maybe there's seven levels. Again, I'm throwing out more guesses. Really don't know, but hey, 
it's worth playing. It's called Balloon Kid. Nintendo made it. Um, it's fun. Fun game, I'd have to say. Oh, the scrolling's a little quicker on this one. Um, I could always come back and finish this, or, uh, if anyone's interested. But, uh, well, that's Balloon Kid, and I think that's about good for me. This is Captain Goodnight saying, uh, live hard and play strong and have a good, uh, have a good time playing these, these games. Thanks.